Cape Lookout is one of our favorite overlanding spots and we are excited to be heading back. We arrived at Davis Ferry Service the night before and slept over in their parking lot per their permission. We loaded up the ferry at 7 a.m. and we started on our 45 minute ferry ride over to the island. There are two ferry services that transport vehicles to Cape Lookout. Cape Lookout Ferry Service, which we used on our previous trip, and Davis Ferry Service, which we decided to use on this trip, as this ferry service had time slots available that allowed us to get over to the island earlier. Both services have excellent customer service, and we recommend both of them. After getting off the ferry, there was a volunteer waiting at the entrance to the island for us. She was very friendly and gave us information about the island. After that, we decided to air down our tires to 15 PSI. We started down the back road, heading south down the island, looking for a campsite. Cape Lookout National Seashore is a beautiful island that preserves a 56 mile long section of the southern outer banks. After driving down the beach for approximately 45 minutes and enjoying the beautiful scenery, we found a spot. We decided to get out, set up camp, and enjoy the day. After laying out and going for a swim, we decided it was time for lunch. We're having chicken, corn, beans, cheese, and tortillas. After eating food, we decided to spend the rest of the evening at camp. We did some dancing, swimming, and we played some games. After the long day, we realized how tired we were. We decided to pack it in and get some sleep, getting ready for the next day. The next morning we woke up feeling great. We decided to eat some breakfast and head towards the Cape.
Once we arrived at the southernmost tip of the island, we realized that the waves at the south side were significantly smaller and better for swimming for all of us. We decided to head farther down the island on the south side to see if there was a good place to take a dip. We ended up driving all the way from the southeast side to the southwest side as far as you could go down the island. After having lunch and swimming for about two hours, we decided to hit the trails. We decided to hit my favorite trail. It's the longest, windiest, and hilliest on the entire island, and it's a lot of fun to rip up and down. After enjoying the trails and experiencing the southernmost part of the island, we decided to go pick up our camp on the east side. We drove all the way back, gathered our stuff up, and decided to set up camp on the southernmost part of the island. After jumping in the water a few more times, enjoying dinner and setting up the rooftop tent, we were ready to have a fire and enjoy the night. What are we going to do with that? What are we going to do with that stick? We're going to put camp fire. Mornings on the south side of the island were super enjoyable. We'd wake up, relax, eat breakfast, and go for a nice morning walk. During the rest of the trip, we stayed on the south side of the island. We were enjoying the small waves and the slow speed of the wind. On the last day of our trip, we decided to do some more exploring. We headed over to the west side of the island to check out the lighthouse, and the buildings surrounding it. On the west side, there's also a bay, which is great if you don't want any waves and very minimal wind.
before the ferry arrived, we decided to head out to the beach one more time and take pictures and have fun. After our three mile trip on the ferry back to the mainland, we started our trip back to Virginia. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave us a comment in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for supporting us.